I went to school in Oakland, okay. and I had quite a few white that was school kids with me. I'm 49. At that time, I had white kids going to school with me. I would have peanut butter. I got some peanut butter at home now. I don't want it, but I ate so much when my mother gave it to me. And apple butter. I got two cans of it now. <laughs> that I don't eat because Wiley was eating ham sandwiches and I was eating peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> I gotta get out of this town. This is southern town. Let me out of here. That's it. Right. Suck. The bus only costs 17000 New York. I say, maybe 17000 in two weeks. Wow. <laughs> I had to live. coming out of Pearl Harbor. And all my white friends that we had drank water out of the ditches. If I had a kid ration, I'd give him some of it. And I would ride this bus. I couldn't sit with my friend on this bus in Houston, Texas. I had to ride the back end of this bus. Well, I'm getting hot now. And as a matter of fact, you couldn't even go no face down style. You couldn't even get a soda. But you walk in there and get you a sandwich and you cut up people. You know, damn, I'm gracious. I just want equality. I want to be equal with the next guy because I'm paying my Well, that's a different that's a different thing. The money is what's happening. Hey, See what I mean? No, See what, what I mean? About it him. all counts. Well, that is what's happening. I'm no, talking about as far as, like, if you want to be revolutionary, you get some bread first, and then you can talk trash. Whitey, line us with religion. Yeah. If you fight violence with violence, like the lady Malcolm said, man, <laughs> you're going to get some results. Right. Really, because before this rioting and shit, you didn't have no head start programs for kids. You didn't have shit. Yeah. Really, you didn't have a goddamn thing. Catch it down the hall and selling horse meat. You know, if one of the motherfuckers down there now selling horse meat, they dead. About the Civil War. Civil War. And I'm gonna be standing back. See? You. Get him, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
man. You in a bag. Yeah, that's it. I'm in a bag. Well, just don't lose your coolness, cat. I mean, don't lose your coolness. Well, easy for you to talk. You're a crow. I wish I was a crow. If I was a crow, I'd fly away, man. I'd fly away from this miserable town for good. You think being a crow is a big motherfucking ball? All you cats the same, man. You don't know where it is. There's nobody to tell you where it's at. And you come up here, try to find out where it's at. But you got to be up here, man, to find out what's happening. Well, look, I know it isn't a ball, man. I studied the race problem. See, I know. You don't know nothing about the race problem. You got to be a crow to know about the race problem. You know what I mean? Do you dig where I'm at? You know what I'm talking about? Well, listen, man, th th this thing affects me very deeply, fella. As a cat, I have a considerable guilt complex because my kind have always brought suffering on your kind. Yeah? Yeah. See, my soul is tortured and tormented by this, this racial crisis. No shit. I kid you not, man. Sometimes I really get hung up about it. You know, uptight, strung out. In a bag. Yeah, yeah, in a bag. Buy you a drink, cat. Just cause I think you got coolness. Oh, great. Hey, boy. Hey, boy, can I have a drink? Oh, man. Would you like to bug out now? By God, man, I'm gonna bug out. Did he say bug out, baby? Go ahead, baby, bug out, bug out. <laughs> Ain't no bug out. He's a bug out to him. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is, it's some kind of damn. Uh, <laughs> 